In this video, I'm going to show you how to flash an ATI Radeon HD 5870 graphics card for use on an Apple Mac Pro. Now this method will of course work for any Mac Pro, that be the 1,1 uh, 2006 model to the 5,1 2012 model. Um, and the process will be exactly the same for any of those machines. Now, this should work with any Radeon HD 5870 graphics card uh, that has this port layout. So if you look at the back here, uh, you can see that it has a, or it has two DVI ports, an HDMI port, and a display port. Now, like I said, this method uh, should work for any or any card that has uh, that exact port layout. So uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get started with the tutorial. Uh, so before you get started, you're going to need a few things. Uh, first off, you're going to need a Mac Pro uh, or a PC running Windows. So you can do this with your Mac Pro, but like I said, uh, it just has to have Windows installed. Um, I've got a second hard disk in this machine that does have a copy of Windows on it. So then what you're going to want to do, uh, if you're using a Mac Pro, is you're going to want to select your Windows volume uh, as your startup disk, because of course you won't be able to uh, see the option menu with the unflash video card installed. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is just go into the startup disk uh, pane of system preferences and select the bootcamp volume. So once you've gone ahead and selected that, you can go ahead and shut your machine down. And uh, once it shuts down, you can go ahead and install the ATI Radeon HD 5870 graphics card that you intend to flash. So I'm going to go ahead and install the card and uh, resume the video once it is installed. Alright, so as you can see I have now installed the ATI Radeon HD 5870 uh, into my Mac Pro 5.1 here. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and turn it on. Now, even though this card is unflashed, uh, we will get the Windows boot screen uh, on the monitor when it starts. So yeah, as you can see, uh, Windows is now booting up uh, with the uh, 5870. Uh, so once Windows boots, uh, I'll go ahead and resume the video and show you what to do from there. So I'll be right back. All right, so once you've gotten on your Windows machine, you're gonna need to download a program called ATI WinFlash. Uh, as you can see, I already have it installed, uh, downloaded right here. Uh, so once you've gotten, and of course I will uh, link this in the description so you can uh, download it easily. Uh, but once you've gotten ATI WinFlash downloaded, you're going to want to open a command prompt. So to do that, just type CMD in the start menu, right click on it, and click run as administrator. Click yes. And uh, then once command prompt is open, um, you're just going to want to cd into the directory containing uh, the ATI WinFlash files. So in this case, you can just copy the path from up here uh, and then just paste it right in and press enter. Uh, so now once we're in the folder here, you're going to want to type in ATI Win or ATI Flash dash S zero and you're going to want to type the name of the ROM you want to save. So this is basically just going to dump the ROM that's currently on your video card uh, to a file that you specify. So in this case, I'm going to name it 5870pc.rom and I'm go ahead and press enter. So it should take a minute to save the ROM. And once it is done, you should now see your ROM uh, in the directory. So there it is. You can see it is uh, 128K in size, which is exactly what you want. Um, so then what you're gonna need is to copy this file back over into Mac OS because we have to uh, do the rest of the process in Mac OS. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this to my OS 10 machine. And from there, I'll go ahead and show you what to do to modify the ROM. So I will be right back. All right, so on your Mac, you're gonna to need to download a few things. Uh, the first thing you're gonna need is this folder called 5870 Flash. 
And uh, this will just contain these two files, which is all you really need uh, to modify your PC ROM to work on the Mac Pro. Uh, so the second thing you're going to want to put in this folder is the 5870pc.rom that you saved from your graphics card using your Mac Pro or PC, whatever uh, machine you're using for flashing. Uh, just copy that in this folder. Um, so now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and download this app called Zero XED, and this is just a hex editor, and this will allow us to uh, make some necessary modifications to the ROM uh, to make it uh, flashable for the machine. So the first thing you're going to need to do is CD into this folder using terminal. So go ahead and CD space, and then drag on the 5770 or 5870 flash folder. Press enter, and then all you're going to want to do is make a copy of this ROM. Let's go ahead and just Command C, Command V, and rename this copy to myrom.rom. And this is just so it uh, matches up with the terminal commands here. So you can see it's specified there and here. So then all you want to do is copy these lines into terminal, like so, and press Enter. And now what you want to do is go ahead and open up the hex editor. All right, so once the hex editor is open, you want to open the myrom.rom file. So you can see I've already got it here. Click open, and you're going to want to search for a string. Uh, that string is mcuc, just so just click find next, and you should see two instances of it. So there's the first instance there. Go ahead and find again. But as you can see, there is no second instance. So I can keep finding it. It'll only find that one. Uh, and that is not what we want. So we need to make sure that there are two instances of it in the ROM. So since there are not two instances of it, we will need to make some modifications. Uh, so you can go ahead and close out of that, delete this myrom.rom as it is unusable now, uh, and make another copy of your 5870 PC ROM. Uh, name that myrom.rom again, just like before. And now you're going to want to open that in the hex editor. Let's go ahead and select it there. All right, so now that you've got it open, you're going to want to search for the second instance of MCUC. So go ahead and find next. There's the first instance, find again, and there is the second instance. So what you're going to want to look at is the offset here. Uh, it's listed at the bottom. In this case, it is 1A000. So we're going to go ahead and write that down just so I remember it. 1A000, just like that. And now what we want to do is find the first instance of MCUC again. Uh, so you can see the first instance of it right here. Uh, okay, so now that you know where the first instance is, find the second instance again. I kind of missed something. Um, so now what you want to do once you found the second instance once again is scroll all the way down to the bottom of the ROM. So you can see right here we just have a bunch of Fs. So you just want to copy... Uh, most of them here, so I'll just copy, um, start from there, copy all of them down to there, I guess. So go ahead and Command X to cut. You do not want to copy, you want to cut. So I'll do Command X, so that just leaves the last, or those first two FFs there. So now we want to search for the second instance of MCUC once again, just like there, and just click up in these Fs right here and paste. All right, so once you've pasted those Fs in, search for MCUC again, and now we should find it at a new instance, so or, or a new offset. So in this case, it is 1A35E, so you want to write that down, 1A35E, and now you want to search for the first instance again. So find, find next. So here's the first instance. So once you've found the first instance, you want to go back eight characters or eight bytes. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So starting from these two zeros, this is the specification for the original offset. But it is backwards, as you can see. So zero one represents that one. A zero represents the second two characters there and 00 are these last two. So all you need to do is type this in in the exact same format as this was. 
So we'll go ahead and start off with the 1 here, which doesn't actually need to be changed. So you can see 0, 1 matches with that 1 and that 1. But what does need to be changed is this A0. And that is because it was originally A0, now it is A3. So you can just type in A3, and that is replaced. So now I'll highlight these first two digits, which represent these last two. And we need to change that to 5E. Let's go ahead and do 5E. And that's it, you're done. So go ahead and save it. Um, you can go ahead and exit out of the file in the hex editor. And then just run these commands again. So go ahead and highlight them all. Copy, paste, press enter. And now open it one more time in the hex editor. So go ahead and open it there, open. And you want to search for MCUC. Make sure you find it once. You can see there it is. And make sure you find it a second time. So there it is. There's the second instance. So now that you've done that, you can go ahead and quit out of the hex editor. And the last thing you're going to need to do is run this fix ROM command. So do dot slash fix ROM dot py space myrom.rom space 5870mac.rom and this will create the ROM uh, that we can flash onto the card. So press enter. You can see that 5870mac will be created and that's it. So now what you want to do is copy this back onto your machine that you're using for flashing and we will proceed with the process of flashing it onto the card. So I'll be right back. All right, so back on your PC here, uh, I've gone ahead and copied the 5870 Mac ROM back into the ATI WinFlash folder. Um, so now back in command prompt, all you need to do is run ATI flash dash P zero, just like that. 5870 Mac or whatever you name the file, and then dash F. And once you've gotten that typed in and press enter, it will begin flashing. Let's go ahead and do that now. It will take a few seconds to flash the card. And I guess once it's done flashing, I'll go ahead and resume the video. All right. So as you can see, the flash has succeeded. You can see uh, that many bytes programmed and verified. And uh, yeah, so the flash has complete. So you can go ahead and close that. Go ahead and close this window and restart the machine. Go ahead and do that. And in theory, when it, sh when it restarts, you should now get a boot screen. Or once you put the card uh, back in your Mac Pro, uh, you should get a boot screen. Just go ahead and hold down Option here. And look at that! There is a boot screen! So let's just go ahead and wait for it to uh, show the drives here. Alright, so we'll go ahead and boot off my hard disk here, or my SSD with OS X on it. go ahead and check about this Mac. And there it is, the ATI Radeon HD5870. It is detected properly, and uh, as you can see, it is working perfectly fine uh, with a boot screen. So, that is how to flash an ATI Radeon HD5870 for use on an Apple Mac Pro. Hope you enjoyed this video.